Hi again. I'd like to continue the discussion of JavaScript, um, and we're still working on the shopping cart. You know, there's probably a, a million other things to do with it, but uh, you know, so far I've got a few functions here where I can add items to a cart and I can delete, uh, you know, an entire item from a cart here. Um, what I'd like to do next is create a button that lets us subtract one item from the cart or add an item to the, you know, of this type to the cart. So, um, you know, I've got this X button to delete everything, but maybe we'll add another one that's plus and another one that's minus, right? So uh, let's do that. Um, looking at the cart here, you can see I've got this, you know, um, list item here and the closing list item at the bottom. And then inside we're displaying, you know, various elements like the name, the price, the, you know, the count, the total. And then this right here is a button that's going to display the, um, you know, the delete, the X, right, that deletes an item. And then what I'd like to do, and I'm going to add another button, maybe actually let me put this in front of the first button, okay? So, you know, it'll, you know I want to add a button here, maybe that just subtracts one item from the cart. So I'll put a plus sign here, and then maybe a space, and then we'll put... Uh, you know, button tag, and, you know, the quotation marks here, and then maybe the closing tags there for the button, right? And maybe this button will have a plus. Actually, let's do the subtract one, so we'll just put a minus sign here, right? And then let's give it um, a class name. Let's say subtract item. Okay, so that'll remove one item. And so, you know, for this button, we'll also need to know the name of the item. Okay, so I'm going to just do the same thing we did before. And you could get trickier with this. I, I'm just going to try and keep it simple. Let's use the data name on this button so this button knows what to subtract. Okay, so I'll say data name. And then we'll use the single quotes and then I'll put the double quotes inside. Remember, no spaces here, okay? We cannot have a space here, okay? Um, because if, if we put a space like, you know, essentially we're gonna squeeze a name in here between these two quotation marks, right? And, you know, if, if this was the value that we were trying to print in there, if we put a space here between the single and the double, it would be like putting a space here and here, and that could be a problem with the way that, um, you know, JavaScript is reading this class name when we want to work with the class name. So I'm just going to take this, um, this, you know, cart array name right here and put it right there, okay? And maybe I'll put that on the next line too just to keep these lines from getting too long. So here's my button. With a, It's like a minus symbol is the text, and then the class name is subtract item, right? So, uh, so how do we subtract an item? Well, we're going to use the same, you know, method here, and this will be good practice for you, you know, jQuery on. And what we'll do is we'll say, uh, you know, dollar sign, you know, show uh, cart, and then we'll say dot, you know, on, and click, and then we'll say dot um, subtract item, right? And then uh, we'll put a function here. Okay, so we got uh, click. And then when you click on show cart, we're going to examine show cart and see if the item that you clicked on, you know, the child or, you know, descendant item that you clicked on is this description of, you know, something with the class name subtract item. And if it is, we'll execute the function. Okay. Right, so there we go. And uh, so now what do we do? Right, so now when we want to subtract an item, let's get the name again. So we'll say name. And remember our name is in the attribute data name. So what we'll do is we'll say uh, jQuery this, to you know, and that gets us access to the button, the exact button that you clicked on. And then we'll use the attribute property to get to the attribute. 
and then the attribute name is data name. Okay? And now, um, if you recall, if we scroll down a little ways, we have a function here called remove item from cart. Okay? And you need to pass in the name to remove the item. Okay. So, uh, so we're going to call that. Let's scroll back up here. So here we go. Um, you know, subtract item, right? And what we'll do is we'll say uh, remove item from cart. And then we want to pass the name. Okay, so now we'll, you know, we'll be searching the cart array for an item with this name, right, with the property equal to the name. And if it matches, we'll subtract one from the count of that item. And then we'll need to display the cart again. So we'll call on display cart, okay? We'll come back and we'll kind of clean this up and make it a little better too, but right now we're just getting stuff to work, right? And we're kind of studying how JavaScript works and, you know, right here we're using jQuery to our advantage, right? This, this kind of, this on thing works really well and it's, it's kind of really convenient. So let's refresh. And there we go. I got my cart set up here and it's got this item here with the minus sign on it. And I'll add a few more. And there's no errors luckily, right? And then let's say... I got three apples. Let me click the minus button. Oh, I got two apples, one apple, zero apples, and they're all gone, right? Or I can add a few of these items here, and then I can delete them entirely with the X. Or I can just subtract a couple of these, okay? And that's pretty good, okay? So that's, that's pretty good. Um, let me point out a couple things that we probably want to do here, right? Just to make sure that it's, it's super reliable, right? Um, down here, when we're looking at remove item from cart, you know, if we remove an item from the cart and then we break, we're going to stop the function here and then save the cart, right? So remember, that's going to write it again to local storage. And then the same thing's going to happen here. So make sure we got to have the break there and then we got to have save cart to make sure it gets saved. You know, so I guess, I guess that's pretty good. So it seems like it's working, you know, um, Anyway, you, you go ahead and try some of your own ideas. Let's maybe, let's make a, maybe we'll do the plus button now too. I was going to do that in another video, but maybe we'll just do it here. Um, so, you know, I've got my minus button there. Why don't, right above it, why don't we make a button here, class, we'll call it, you know, add, I think I already used add item. Let's do plus item. How about that? Right, so we'll give it class name plus item. And then we'll add in, you know, data name. Right? And uh, and then we'll put the cart name here. You know, maybe I'll just copy this whole little section there, right? Because it's going to be the same. And then instead of doing the plus sign here, or the minus sign, we'll do the plus sign, right? So there we go. So we got a button. It's got a class name plus item. We've got another attribute data name. And oops, wait, I got a mistake. There should be have one quotation mark there, right? And then I got my closing quote here, right? So we got a quote, double quote, plus sign, you know, some value in a variable, plus sign, double quote, single quote, right? So that looks pretty good. Let's save it and give it a test here. Oh, so there's my plus button and my minus button, right? So uh, how do we activate this plus button here? Let's uh, scroll down a little ways. And uh, we'll add another function. How about show cart? And then we'll say on. And the event we're looking for is a click. And then this time, you know, we want something with the with the description of plus item, okay? And then, you know, if this is the case, we'll call on a function, oops, like this, and, and then we'll execute some code. So maybe here we want to get the name, right? 
and then we're going to say this dot attribute data name right so we you know we kind of duplicated a lot of code here we could kind of clean that up and maybe we'll, we'll do that in the future but for right now you know this is really good practice right do this a few times and get used to using on and click and you know and getting the value from an attribute and then you'll just be you know you'll be a lot better at it right so if you practice a few times you know it'll 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 set in your mind and you'll you'll be able to remember it when you need to so anyway so how do we add another item to the cart well if there's already an item in the cart then you know we can just add another item of that name using add item and then if it sees that name in the cart it'll just you know add plus one to the um, to the count right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the name and then we're gonna call on add item to cart okay and then this takes a name string a number price and the count right but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say name string comma price we can just put a zero here and count is gonna be one okay and let's take a look at add item right so add item you know takes name price and count and if that item doesn't exist then it creates a new item but if the item exists and we're gonna loop through the cart and try and match the name so if the name exists then all it does is it adds the count right so so if we call this with name and count of one you know if the name matches it'll add one to the current count for that item and then save it okay and so it doesn't affect the price so we can put anything in for price the thing is the parameters go in order so we can't just leave the price out because doing this would make one the price and the count would be undefined right so what we'll do is we'll just put a zero there to hold its place and then this will be the count okay so anyway let's give that a try let's save it and then we'll go back here and refresh our window and uh, and then let's try let's what if I subtract one here and then add one oh man my add one isn't working let's test it here what's going on so what do we got here oh you know what what did I forget I'll give you a moment to try it for yourself okay I forgot to update the display of the cart let's test it what if I you know I added a few here right it says one right now remember that when I click the add it should be adding the items but it's just not displaying them and it's also saving them to local storage so I think if I refresh it actually shows me 13 right so I must have clicked that plus button a lot of times so it, you know actually it was working it just wasn't displaying you know the the or updating the display here in the browser right so let's go look here and you know we'll need to call on display cart to you know update the display in the browser again right so we'll save that and uh, refresh it here and maybe I'll subtract a couple items add a couple of these and you know it looks like it's working pretty good right so anyway so I hope that was helpful and interesting to you guys um, you know thanks for watching and uh, you know I'll keep working on this and we'll, we'll do some styling too in the future um, you know I just want to kind of get the functions laid out here and then maybe we'll we'll play with the look of this um, and we'll you know we'll improve it too I, I, I have this vision to make sort of a you know a block of code that we could just import anywhere and use with any project right now our code isn't quite up to that that quality yet but you know we'll be improving on it right so you know if you have any questions post them to the YouTube um, comments and I'll and you know thanks for watching